everybody. Uh, I really apologize due to scheduling issues. I'm running a week late. So, but please do not worry. I'll put in all the charts that I have promised. Every week I'll try to do one. Um, I'm still getting used to this forum of YouTube. So, please pardon me and like, share and subscribe and give me your feedback as to how I could uh, improve this. Uh, I do get a lot of constructive feedback uh, and thank you for all that. So this is for Anju Raju. So she said myself Anju Raju and Anjuji sorry yours is also you know yours I was supposed to do last week but I by mistake did somebody else's so you know I'm just working around my schedule these days. It's a little you know, we all are reliant on our cell phones, so then the cell phone calendar gets out of sync. So these things happen, but anyway, everything's fine now. So she's written myself, Anju Raju, born 19th January 1998. You're very young in Changa Kerala, studying chartered accountancy, not past all papers. Don't worry about it. My parents are asking me to marry. No, but I'll tell you the astrological answer also. But I need permanent job with high salary to stay in Europe. Can I succeed? So your plans are good. Now, uh, Anju, uh, you are ascendant Taurus firm at 12 degrees. So you have 12 degrees is a good, you, you know, anything around 15 degrees for Taurus is good. So you have a firm mind, but at the same time, you are a little flexible also. That's the right place to be. Fourth house has Rahu. So again, relations with parents can be strained a little bit, but in control. Fifth house has moon, mother is close to you. Eighth house has mercury. So you are one with uh, a mind of your own and you will not come under the talk of anybody. In fact, if people try to pressurize you, your loved ones, you will speak out. Ninth house has some enemy and Venus retrograde. Now, ninth house is a good house. So this means that uh, basically you do not feel that you have enough support from your father. And uh, though there is some amount of stress again seen with regards to the father, but uh, I don't think you listen to him. There is some amount of anxiety inside of you and also marriage because Venus is retrograde. You have to be very careful. You have to get married only after careful chart matching and doing the remedies for your Venus and Mercury at the minimum. And I'll tell you why. Your 10th house is perfect. Career wise, you will do very well. Your dreams will come true. Don't worry about the back papers. You will clear it. I will just come to it. So 10th house is Mars, Jupiter and Ketu. So you are a non mangli Jupiter here means study wise, luck wise, you will be fortunate but Ketu here means that sometimes you know like I mean uh, there could be some loss in momentum that is the word to put you know with regards to your education but if you put in the efforts you can clearly pass your CA exams it is nothing for you and 11th house has Saturn this is a very good placement this means that your dreams will come true you will definitely reach a place of your dreams and work there now, right now, uh, you are going through your Rahu Mahadasha till 2025. This is the time when you will spread your wings and go. So, first of all, you have to do the remedies for Mercury and Venus. And uh, wear one of these gemstones under astrological guidance in gold and then clear your exams. Also, slightish form of Kal Dosh is there, which makes the present Rahu Mahadasha tricky. But nothing to worry, it's on its way out. You just can't, uh, I don't know if you're a Hindu, uh, Anju Raju. So, sounds like a Hindu name. So, you could shout, uh, chant Om Namah Shivaya, 11 malas every day. Take the Gayatri Mala, purchase it and chant it 11 malas. That is 11 into 108 times. It is a very powerful mantra. Shiva unlocks the power of mantra and tantra. And it is a very auspicious mantra, simple mantra, Om Namah Shivaya, please chant it. 
and then I see that by 2025 or by 2026 you would be in a foreign land, you would have completed your CA, you could be doing further education also in your next Jupiter Mahadasha and you will settle very well. After that, after 2025, right now you are very young, then once you have done the remedies for Mercury and Venus that I have mentioned, you can get married by careful chart matching. I suggest that before leaving India, you get the gemstones here only because you can get them here reasonably as compared to overseas and wish you all the best and do not worry about your career, you will do very well overseas. Your life is overseas, your profession is overseas. How do you know?